Mm -hmm. Same old Barry, just a different uh, look this time round. This is because I have Miss Sandy Designs in studio with me. But before we introduce her to 2162 SMS line, start with YM254. Don't forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from. Special thanks to Hilda Wathiti for that amazing interview and uh, for the rugby culture in the country. So Miss Sandy is in studio with me and she's responsible for what I have on right now. Uh, I've been told I look good. If you think I look good as well, 2216 is the SMS line. Start with YM254. Don't forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from. Miss Sandy, uh, it's been a long time coming. Yes. Uh, it's been a hustle. Uh, my measurements took forever to come, <laughs> but I'm sorry. Uh, but you can introduce yourself uh, in a few words. Your camera is number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning, people. My mm -hmm. name is Sharon Kasandi, as mm -hmm. you have heard. Mm -hmm. I am the creative director for Sandy Fashions. Uh -huh. And what we do is just we're trying to bring the African theme in mm -hmm. each and every dimension and perspective that mm -hmm. there are in the country. Dimension and perspective. Yes. Uh, African touch in your fabric. Yes. I can tell. Did you design this yourself yes, as I well? Yes, I did. All right. Yes. So uh, you... you I don't want to say you do men or and women. You uh, you work with men and women as well. Yes. Uh, you don't specialize in one particular sex. No. Uh, mm -hmm. At first, how we began the whole process is that we mm -hmm. were doing only women. Mm -hmm. And then with time, it came to a point whereby you find someone has maybe a wedding to attend or a relationship to go for. Mm -hmm. So we decided just let's bridge the gap mm -hmm. and do both men and women. Because uh, yes. all sexes are involved in these activities anyway. Yes. So you started out with women. Yes. And then you went out to, to get men's designs. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, when did you start doing this? Okay. So I started this in 2013. Mm -hmm. In 2013, I had my first, my first show that mm -hmm. I, ha I organized. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter, I stopped mm -hmm. and then in 2015 mm -hmm. I began because I had started school mm -hmm. so I began mm -hmm. in 2015 and mm -hmm. then well I cleared school mm -hmm. I got employed mm -hmm. employment wasn't working for me mm -hmm. so I just quit my job and I decided and I'm this doing is this. working for you yes. your background in education is very different from what you're doing right now yes very uh, true. but maybe they complement each other yes uh, when it comes to the marketing and everything uh -huh. but they're very different uh, did you always want to be a designer? Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. I really did want to become a designer. Even while studying PR in other university. Yes. Uh -huh. it, is, it is quite a good coincidence in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, I had this discussion before and mm -hmm. I was just like, you know what, I want to do design. Mm -hmm. But at the time, design wasn't fully accommodated in the Kenyan market. Mm -hmm. So I had a discussion with my folks and they were like, you know what, let's do something that can actually complement and you can apply it everywhere. I love your parents. We need more parents like <laughs> those. Uh -huh. So they supported the best way they could yes. by taking you to school to study something that can complement. Yes. Is it working for you right now? Yes, what you studied is. in school, is it? are you applying it in your in your marketing of your designs? Yes, it mm -hmm. is. It's quite, it's quite plays a big role. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying that there are certain... Uh, I'll say there are certain career paths or mm -hmm. certain courses that you do mm -hmm. that they can be applied all roundedly. Mm -hmm. So I did communications, but majorly uh, uh, factored on public relations. Uh -huh. And right now, what I'm doing, I'm doing my master's in corporate, corporate communications. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, even while having a brand out there or even being a creative designer, mm -hmm. you need to know how to communicate to your audiences. All right. Yes. Uh, you are self-taught mm -hmm. in this field. Yes. And uh, so many, they call YouTube the new university now. Mm -hmm. Is it the same case for you? Uh, do you have you do you refer to YouTube sometimes? Yes, sometimes I do. Time? Yes, I mm -hmm. do. Actually, when I was in high school, I did home science for two years. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, I just went. I went to my mom's house. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of fabric because mm -hmm. she's into the hospitality industry, mm -hmm. and I started cutting fabric. Mm -hmm. So out of it, she was so much. She was like, you know what? I'm just buying you fabric today. Uh, you Let won't me just be get you wasting fabric. my fabric <laughs> like this. <laughs> you won't be wasting my fabric because that's uh, important to her. Uh, so she got me fabric. Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, being a self-taught designer, what are some of the tips you can give to somebody who probably cannot afford to go to design schools mm -hmm. and uh, they have a passion for this, mm -hmm. they're cutting up fabric mm -hmm. and uh, they have ideas, they're sketching and mm -hmm. everything. What mm -hmm. advice can you give to these people? So, the greatest advice that mm -hmm. I can give anyone right now is mm -hmm. that trust, trust, your, trust your form mm -hmm. of creativity. Mm -hmm. you, we're all different in different, we're all different uh -huh. and the fact that uh, we perceive the world in different ways 
size mm -hmm. makes us both unique. Mm -hmm. So anything that you sketch, mm -hmm. please just make it happen for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make it happen mm -hmm. for you. We have pictures uh, on the screen. If you can watch the screen right there. Uh, we have a screen right there. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one of your designs. Yes. And this is... Uh, this is a dress. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of fabric is that? If we can rewind to the previous picture. Uh -huh. All right. All right. So uh, we can talk about this one as mm -hmm. well as mm -hmm. we find the other one. No problem. Uh, uh, what type of fabric is, is this? So I, I source fabric from Congo. So all fabrics that I, I actually have, I source from Congo directly. Mm -hmm. So these are prints, but then there are two types of prints. There are mm -hmm. two Ankaras. Mm -hmm. There's cotton and there's wax. Mm -hmm. So wax tends to fade off. Mm -hmm. It's stiff. Mm -hmm. So once you wash it, it fades off. Mm -hmm. But uh, cotton is such good quality. Mm -hmm. And what I'm wearing is actually cotton, mm -hmm. and it does not fade off. The mm -hmm. color just stays on and stays on and stays on. So this fabric is from Africa? Yes. All right. Yes from Congo. Yes. This is very amazing. I heard people are importing this type of fabric from China, which really worried me a lot because this is our heritage right here. Yes, it uh. is. And that's why I'm, I'm actually even uh, giving an applause to the Rwandan mm. government in mm. the sense that they have decided there's no other fabric that people are being imp that people are importing secondhand, mm -hmm. so they will use their own fabrics because even Rwanda have good heritage in fabrics. Mm -hmm. That's what people are going to use to actually make clothes. Do you, do you think we need to take such a step in legislation in this country to save our designers and save our heritage as well? I believe so mm -hmm. because. Uh Places like China have mm -hmm. gone on are very much more ahead because they do things for themselves. They're mm -hmm. not waiting for other people to come start doing things mm -hmm. for themselves. They're, they're importing less yeah. than they and export. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we have EPZ, mm -hmm. a very good platform that was mm -hmm. there. It was run down. We have even cotton industries that were totally run down. Mm -hmm. These are the places that need to be invested in mm -hmm. so that we have a, like, an economy that's sustaining on itself, not always borrowing Are you a thrift money. shopper by chance? <laughs> well, yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes. Uh, don't you think that is a little bit being double, having double standards when we when we are against importing, mm -hmm. but sometimes we feel like ah, I can get a very good Nike secondhand. Uh, do you think we can survive without secondhand clothing as a country? Yes, we can survive without secondhand clothing. Mm -hmm. That's one thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's all about it's all about the values that we will start instilling in people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so far so good. Right now, the price of fuel has gone up mm -hmm. because we are in too much debt. All right. So out of it, uh -huh. it's just about having certain qualities and values in people that mm -hmm. they can actually do things. To, the only way to get out of debt is creating our own products yes. and selling them out there. Yes. Powerful message right there. And uh, I love that everybody has a role. So uh, I love this particular dress. Mm -hmm. uh, what is... Uh, what event okay. can you... Wear Rock this, this too. Yeah. Okay, so there are, there are a couple of events you can wear a dress, mm -hmm. a midi dress too. Mm -hmm. You can you can. What's wear the name of the dress again? A midi dress. A midi dress. Yeah, it's not right. too short. It's not too long. Mm -hmm. You get it. Uh -huh. So you're comfortable in any situation or scenario. Or midi from the word medium. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. So you can wear this to an you can outdoor wait. event. Yes, you mm -hmm. can wait to church. You can wait for the rush. You mm -hmm. can wait. Uh, on those Fridays, you're just feeling can like... Can she wear it to me, go meet my parents? Yes, she can. She can. Yes, she's so. looking <laughs> presentable. <laughs> All right, I like this one as well. Is this a dress or a skirt? Or is it a two-piece or one uh, piece? So this is a skirt. Uh -huh. uh, this young lady was actually headed out to meet her in-laws, mm -hmm. but at a wedding. Mm -hmm. So, so crucial parts. my question. Yes. All right. Crucial I was too parts fast, need to... Too soon. <laughs> Crucial parts need to be mm -hmm. invested in what. Why you're did wearing. you pair it with black? Why did you decide to pair it with black? With a black. Upper? With a black. Mm. With a black top. So the the skirt is already too busy. Mm -hmm. So we want a solid color that will actually make it look all like mm -hmm. all vested in properly. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Wow. 
I like this. How can they get to see more of those designs on your social media or website mm -hmm. or whatever? Your camera is number four. Okay, sure. Mm. So you can get to see more of, of what we do on Sunday fashions. Mm -hmm. Also, we actually go to the extent that we actually design for event event organizers. Mm -hmm. So we are part of the creative team into any event that, uh, that, they, 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 that they have. Mm -hmm. So Sunday fashions on every platform. Sunday fashions on every platform. Yes. Is that Sunday with an I or a Y? With an I, sorry. With and I. Yes. Sandy Fashions yes. on every social media platform. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yesterday I was talking to entrepreneurs. Uh, Tuesday is always Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you'd fit in that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we decided to have you today because mm -hmm. it's Queen's Wednesday. Yes. Uh, but we were talking about an enabling environment uh, to do business is the only thing the youth need. We don't need handouts. Mm -hmm. So what, can, what do you think the legislators or the government at large can do for your industry to make it better? Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, we need to appreciate that the Kenyans who are actually out there to make outfits mm -hmm. and support them in terms of giving them a platform mm -hmm. to actually showcase what they have. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, is for the people who are already made it in the market mm -hmm. to hold hands mm -hmm. for people who haven't made it and not feel as if they're competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is coming up with more design schools because mm -hmm. the design schools that are actually really good are very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Because people need to dress. Yes. And this is a multi-billion industry right yes. here we're talking about. Yes. Uh -huh. And everybody in this room is dressed right now. Exactly. They must have paid something for yes. what they have on. Yes. Thank you very much, Sandy, for Thank coming through to Y in the morning. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. Keep pushing. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in the biggest red carpets. Please. Yes. Right. Amen. Thank you so right. much. This is Sandy from Sandy Designs, and we had it for another segment of Strength of a Woman. Kala Mival is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss this. There are hot topics to talk about.